I think one of the things is protecting protecting uh, users. When I say protecting users, like I'll take on the, the, the technology. Like, I'll take the, an example of Yahoo, maybe Yahoo or any any other any other any other thing. Like if I'm using it, that means I'm putting my data there. I'm putting my information there, and sometimes people might be wanting. It. We know that intelligence people sometimes, mm. security people might be wanting to know what is Ken is putting, mm. or we want to we want what is Ken is putting here. So I think um, they have the responsibility of protecting users, clients, their clients. Mm. Or if they can't do so, then before they release any information, it's better that they share with, mm. with me that Ken, the so and so is wanting information. What do we do? Mm. It's a question of protecting the users, I would say. And, and, and maybe sometimes also, um, coming up with innovations which are demand driven. Mm. Demand driven. Like in Africa, we might be wanting to. Um, you might be wanting mobile phones which uh, have internet access but at a cheap cost. So that can be accessed even with people who have little money, mm -hmm. so that they can be connected. Uh, like I said in the in the beginning, that uh, the, the, the the coming of internet has assisted people to share information. They can also share how their government is being run. They can share little things. So the only thing is, um, uh, mobile phones with access to internet are quite expensive. Mm -hmm. So people from rural area cannot afford them. Mm -hmm. So I think if they look from that perspective, like coming with uh, products which are affordable, mm -hmm. will be helpful.